never trust the timer. Moving in. Well, while we were gone, in an almost two-second period where Flash Wolves unpaused the game, Veritas died again. <laughs> ah, uh, unpause, kill him, pause again, uh, unpause, and we're back. So that's pretty much all you missed in the five seconds of unpause that weren't on broadcast. And Flash Wolves, unsurprisingly, still in control of this game. 10K gold lead at 17 minutes. And ladies and gentlemen, we don't like to count teams down and out. It's a tough spot to be. There's always the potential hey, for speak comeback. For <laughs> I can't handle You're you right to now. Talk I to need, the hand, I, but they I, can't I, see that. Yeah, it's true. I need you to just agree with me right now. I can't. Mm, you are a strong, confident play-by-play. -play <laughs> I don't need no color. I already have one color. You I don't need a replay. Wow, oh, perfect. Who's your side color? Huh? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Fish you. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Moving in. There's the kill going down. Of course, it's almost impossible for unicorns of love to come back. So as we've talked about, this is mentality, this is the best of five. The pressure is on for them now because they have to be looking towards game five. Maybe holding on to hope just slightly, but you have to wonder where their attention is. Probably scattered. It takes a lot of energy to keep focused in this game, especially when you're this far behind. It is so hard to actually find the opportunity to catch somebody out when you're behind. They get so much more vision than you. They have so much more control than you, but they're going to oh, try it right here. Red. Double red. TP on the way in from the Maokai, but he may be the only member coming into the fight. Victor on the backside. TP will be canceled, so potentially a brief respite for the Unicorns of Love as they do take down one member. And even just a single kill brings a bit of confidence back, brings a bit of wind into the sail. Suddenly you can have a positively framed comment rather than just a I'm dead or yeah. I'm gonna die. It's good to be able to say that you're doing something positive towards the team, just because again, there will be another game most likely. You will need to be in that right comms mindset. Anything to help your mindset is important. Yeah, and also it's like they died, but you don't really have any more towers to lose on the outside. It's very hard to actually get those inhibitor towers and you have to set up for those tier twos really e efficiently. So, oh. They kill somebody, they don't really get any, but anything back from it, but hold on, they're looking oh, for more. Move is going in, arrow goes wide, all comes in, a lot of damage down in Exile. He's set to fall now, but he brings oh, the yeah. ult over the wall. Sword Art in trouble, Exile's gonna grab the kill. Maple's on the backside. Unicorns of Love looking for a way back. Karsa may be too strong, the auto attack comes in from Hillisang. Closes out the kill, Maokai MMG. goes over the wall. Veritas in trouble, red buff giving a little bit of damage, but it's not enough. As a Chachi, maybe looking for the 1v1 with Maple, is just gonna... Surge his way out. Hey, they're getting some shutdowns on Unicorns of Love side, but Flash Wolves, MMG is just a, he's a behemoth at this point. They're, they threw everything at him at one point. He's not even taking any damage in these fights. He has both resistances at this point. He's level 13. He's so far ahead, the highest in the game. Still, of course, a terrifying threat to play against. Double Red now pushing into the inhibitor tower. It's only 19 minutes in. Rift Herald just now despawning as MMD steps up. And a single member of Flash Wolves cannot approach this tower alone. MMD has the potential to take out anyone. And that's going to be the inhibitor tower dropping even before the 20 minute mark. The pain continues to pile on. They've picked up a couple of kills for Pride, but it doesn't really change the texture of where the game is. About 10,000 gold lead at 20 minutes. Super, super early for that stat. Stepping for the root. Noah Sang gonna get popped. Exile caught out as well. Double Red does a decent amount of damage. Four shot gonna connect though. That's a lot. Captive audience. Going to come in or deadly flourish rather. Visachachi gonna get taken down on the backside. Moves doing what he can. Does manage to grab the kill onto Sword Art, but that's a lot of max health damage coming in from MMD. The gravity field comes in, pulls him back. Arrow connects. Double Red is low. Veritas is gonna drop. Karsa oh. wants to keep it rolling. Double kill coming in. The montage moment. Karsa, 8 1 and 5, absolutely wrecking this game from the very beginning when he got that first blood after following the Lee Sin Q. Big player for this game right here. Getting the confidence back. Yeah, elegant destruction from the Lee Sin. Really nice mechanics on point. Sort of thing that will play you into form in the next game. Baron spawned, and even though they don't have the most health bars, they do have a Maokai, so should be able to take this one on spawn. Yeah, happy to tank this one up, of course. Gonna keep casting spells. MFG gonna keep gaining health from the sap magic. Should be an easy take. Olaf, no tools to make it over that wall, but move. Going in nonetheless, Hillisang ready to throw in the Mantra Q. Can't imagine he's going to take this one. Karsa plays patient and takes it in in the end. Oh, Sword Art. Well, extra damage. And that's take every advantage while you can. No hope to stall out the game. Emergency Baron from UL would have taken a very, very long time and probably would have taken them down. So regardless, getting it off the map, now being able to push forward. They already have an inhibitor naked in the mid lane. They see some more of these fights. And again, there's always context to consider here. Flash rolls multiple items up on every member. Exile made some decent moves in this fight, but it's just so grim. Uh, off on the side as well, MMD just killing Vizachachi and moving forward. Sword Art dies. He's 
pretty much the only person that can get killed with these, whereas everybody else just has so much in terms of base stats. Double red, and then Car Veritas. Oh, beautiful. Auto goes in, kick, and that's it. Gets down to business, picks up the kills. Yeah. At the end of the day, a massive lead once again in favor of Flashless. As if it wasn't big enough already when it was 9K, extending now to the 14K mark, Baron Buff backing them up as they can now look to push in, break inhibitors, and potentially end the game right off the bat. Arrow going in, insult to injury. MMB hesitating for a second, waits for the team to back him up, uses the ultimate. Jachi not even going to get a chance to get in with that ultimate, killed before he can make it to double red. April moving forward, move, running for his life, and Flashbull is now poised to take this to a game five. Yeah, it's one of those cannon ultimates where you're so far behind, you swear that it actually healed the enemy team instead of did damage. It just feels really bad. He almost has no items now. And they're going to try to end the game at 22 minutes. 22 minutes, an insane pace coming in for Flashwolves. Unicorns love a similar pace when they played INTZ, but this is the most dominating win. Most dominating performance we've seen today. I believe it's the most dominating performance that we've seen of the tournament so far. And, you know, we've actually seen two wildcard teams be played against. Unicorns of Love are actually completely decimated right now. I can't even talk because they're just going to get absolutely and there's, and there's nothing left to say. Abilities are being cast. Players are getting knocked out. Unicorns of Love aren't able to do any damage to the opposition. Visit Chachi, desperate to get something there. But... Flashful's taking their sweet time here. Not gonna get greedy to close out. One inhibitor at a time, waiting for Unicorns of Love to make their last move of desperation before they kind of take them out of their misery. I mean, you just saw Unicorns of Love. You might wonder why Flashful's dissented oh, from trying to finish oh. the game. This is Tachi. Almost, because he used the E, he got extra resistances. So Vizichachi just barely surviving there. But wow, because the game's so early at 22 minutes, 23 minutes, the death timers are so short that they actually had to go and take multiple inhibitors because the response kind of goes very fast. gets popped, goes godlike, and hope starts to die for the Unicorns of Love. <laughs> really going, starts to die? And hope is dead in this <laughs> game for the Unicorns of Love, but hope is alive for the series, has to turn their attention forward because Flash Wolves absolutely decimated them. And the Maokai pick, the question mark for the team, helps them take control here. Chachi runs forward though, maybe looking for a bit of a turnaround and it's simply not enough. Flash Wolves take it to a game five and are on track to close out the series. And to me, the biggest thing is, let's look at the face of the Unicorns of Love as they walk off. We commented on the fact that the Flash